Rewind is next with Chris Barrier and Kelly Price. Good evening. Welcome to the Sunday Sports Rewind Show. I'm Chris Barrier, and beside me making her show debut is Kelly Price. Kelly, welcome. Thanks, Chris. Happy to be here. We have an action-packed show tonight, and it's all centered around Packers rookie camp. This rookie orientation camp is really where you start to develop your football team. We've been very impressed with a number of young men. I'm here to learn as much as I can. I'm out here to make the best of it, and I'm out here to compete. I'm just grateful for the opportunity, really, to be able to show my talent. Vince, who's the first one here, he sat in front row, he's off to a great start. It's the next step in the journey. I think there's some high expectations here. It's really cool when you see him in the green and gold. And once you put the helmet on and put the jersey on, you're like, okay, I'm here, now it's time to get to work. Time to get to work indeed. All rookie draft picks and free agents were thrown into the mix this weekend for Packers orientation camp. The whole weekend, it's really a chance for Coach McCarthy and his staff to get to know the new guys and teach them the Packer way. Coach said that one in three players in the NFL was a free agent at one point in their career. So, a good handful of the guys you see here will be part of this franchise's future. And McCarthy wants to make sure the new guys are well aware of the opportunities in front of them. We have the videotape that we show these guys. It's, it's on the history and the tradition of the Green Bay Packers. It goes you know, way back to the beginning and all the way through. And then we incorporate you know, their pitchers. It's really making it loud and clear the opportunity that every single one of these guys has in front of them. Yeah, it was pretty cool is to like see everything that happened in the past and everything and see your pictures up there. It's just like kind of surreal. I mean, everybody knows about the Green Bay Packers. You know, every, it's, it's fans everywhere. And so, you know, I already feel the love, I already feel, you know, uh, wanted. You know, so I just want to go out there and prove everybody right. Well, Kelly, these guys were only here for a couple days, but it seems in the short weekend that Coach McCarthy and his staff has put a pretty good impression on these guys. Absolutely. Another key group looking to make a difference here is going to be the running backs. Five newbies in total at orientation this week. As Coach McCarthy told us this week, the Packers are in a unique situation. First, they're looking to improve upon a 20th ranked rushing attack last season. Second, the Packers' most experienced back is Ty Montgomery, who only started six games last season. So Green Bay used three of its ten draft picks to select running backs with three different styles, so it's fair to say the backfield is wide open. It gave us a great opportunity to come in and all the running backs who are here to show out and do whatever we can to get on the field. So it, it gives us more leeway, more opportunity to get on the field. But I still see it as um, an opportunity just to prove myself to everybody and to be able to uh, make myself available to play. I feel like it's a good opportunity to be a running back here, uh, just looking to come in and learn the offense and ask what, uh, do whatever coach asks of me and learn from Ty as he uh, did great last year, so looking to learn from him. The Packers are hoping that competition serves as motivation that works to their benefit this season. That's right, and when we come back, we'll hear from a Packer Pro Football Hall of Famer who's in town this week. And another beloved Badger makes his NFL dreams come true, taking his own path in a powerhouse family of pro football players. Stick around for more Rewind. Welcome back to the show. Well, Chris, we can definitely relate to starting a new job and the first day jitters that come with that. Yeah, no kidding. We've only been here a couple weeks. And uh, believe it or not, minus their athletic ability, the Packer rookies are no different. And when given the chance to play alongside a superstar like Aaron Rodgers, well, these guys are as excited as any fan in Lambeau Nation. Take a listen. Still waiting to see him, you know? <laughs> you, see, you, you see his locker when you walk, you like, Rodgers, you know? He's that man. But when I see him, I, I still going to let him know I've been watching you forever and everything, been playing with you on Madden and all this. And <laughs> definitely looking forward to playing. I, I look forward to seeing Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> but yeah, definitely playing with a guy like Aaron Rodgers is going to force me to elevate my level of play. It's like kids in a candy store. You know who else these guys might be excited to meet? How about Pro Football Hall of Famer Dave Robinson? The former Packer linebacker returned to Wisconsin this week for a fundraising event with the Boys and Girls Club of Green Bay. I had a chance to catch up with Dave and talk about the good old days. He says he was blessed to play for the greatest coach of all time, that being Vince Lombardi. Very dedicated to the game. He understood he played the game himself, and he never asked you to do anything he hadn't done or wouldn't do. There's some coaches to yell and scream about things, and you know that they don't have, they have no experience doing it themselves, have never done it, could never do it. But Vince Boy was just the opposite, and, and you had to respect it for that. Robinson won five titles under Lombardi with the Packers three NFL championships, followed by Super Bowl one 
and two. <laughs> Always love a good Vince Lombardi story. Another Vince, Vince Beagle, continues his journey from the from the University of Wisconsin to the Green Bay Packers, but he's not the only former Badger with pro football dreams realized this year. That's right. Fellow Badger T.J. Watt hopes to break out of the shadow of older brother J.J. Watt and make a name for himself in Pittsburgh. Our sister station out of Milwaukee, WTMJ, has that story. As T.J. Watt returns home and works out at Next Level in Waukesha, one question remains in the minds of sports fans in Wisconsin. Oh, you're sitting there watching the draft, 29 Packers, whatever. When they traded out, what was your thought? My thought was it would have been nice to play home. Uh, that was that was probably my thought. It, it would have been nice to go to Green Bay, but um, to be honest with you, I just wanted to play in the NFL. It truly didn't matter. I didn't play favorites. I didn't have a team where I wanted to go to or a team I didn't want to go to. You played for the Badgers, grew up here in Pewaukee. Is there less pressure on you not playing for the home state team, so to speak? Um, I don't know, and that's something that I, I never will have the answer to unless that happens down the road, but um, I, think it, I think it definitely is kind of good and kind of healthy for me to, to get out and be on my own. I, I've been so close to home, like you said, for so long and so close to my parents. I think it's good to kind of go out and live on my own. But he is ecstatic for his Badger teammate, Vince Beagle. I'm really happy for Vince. Uh, I shot him a text message right after he got picked and just, just really happy for him. I think it's a great fit for him, and I think... Uh, he, he's going to be a superstar in the state of Wisconsin, and I, I know it's a perfect fit on, on both sides, and the fans are going to love him. Four months ago, I got a letter that said, come back to school, it said, from the NFL. It said, uh, not, no first, no second, it said, come back to school, and I sent in my evaluation. Not many people believed I would be in this spot, except for myself and for the closest people to me. And I've just worked so hard day in and day out and done all the little things up to this point that have led me to this point, and, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. A guy who's excited to be in the NFL, kind of a bummer that he's not coming to the Packers, but what are you going to do? All right, that's all the time we have. Kelly, Chris, good night.